I have often drawn inspiration for the more chilling of my tales from my own experiences as a young man living in Louisiana after the Civil War. Oh, but the story of Ezekiel Halloway, that I have not dared tell before now. In October of 1879, Zeke was unmarried and ever the dreamer. Years spent in orphanages had taught him nothing if not self-reliance, but the endless struggle to find employment increasingly took him beyond the outskirts of New Orleans itself, even into the surrounding unfamiliar countryside. So it was that on this particular cold and dreary afternoon, he found himself at a rather remote and mournful estate, inquiring about the position of assistant caretaker. <clears throat> he certainly looks like a nice young man. Young beggar, more likely by the looks of him. I, beggar or not. We hate in no position to be chosen. Do you think he's ready for something like this? We'll see how it holds up under fire soon enough, I reckon. Enough already. Let us introduce ourselves. Ah! Arr, that's gonna leave a mark. Hurry now. She will be expecting him. Feeling better? Bah, I told you he'd be on his feet again in no time. Come, we have done our part for now. She is on her way. Awakened now from troubled sleep, you find yourself where shadows creep. The mansion hides its history, but solve you will this mystery and find the truth that's buried deep Beneath these halls where spirits weep. Oh, I, child, am Madame Leota, speaker of the spirit world, medium of the mysterious, and seeker of things unseen. <laughs> I know why you're here even better than you do yourself. Assistant caretaker it is, and you are Ezekiel, but you prefer Zeke. We couldn't just have the newspaper ad read, Wanted, brave soul to rid haunted mansion of evil spirits now, could we? <laughs> if we had, you wouldn't be here now. And the fate of this house and all who dwell within it would be sealed forever. This house was once home to many friendly ghosts, but a powerful, evil man named Atticus Thorne has taken over the estate, corrupting the memories of many of the ghosts and turning others into evil spirits to serve his will. Our beloved mansion has become a dark and foreboding place, and we are now Thorn's prisoners, locked within it. But our hope lies with you, Zeke. We need your help to defeat this evil and to rescue our ghostly friends. An ancient artifact will aid us in this effort, a sacred lantern known as the Beacon of Souls. It is a source of light and power and can be used to battle any All evil right. forces we encounter. Unfortunately, Thorn will also be using his dark magic to try and stop us. He'll be creating magical barriers throughout the mansion and twisting the very rooms themselves until we can turn on the lights and undo his spells. While not all of our foes fear the light, it will weaken the lesser evil spirits and force them into hiding. Once found, these shriveled souls can be chased from their hiding places and drawn into the beacon. Here, the soul's corruption will slowly be reversed, returning them to their good and former selves. As the good power of these souls increases in the beacon, their energy will enable us to break down the magical barriers that Thorn has erected. Then, we may gain access to more areas of the mansion. But there is more I have to tell. <clears throat> 
The primary source of the beacon's power lies in the six sacred gems that adorn it. They are called soul gems. Now, to keep them out of Thorn's hands, I had my ghostly friends hide five of them somewhere in the mansion. And the beacon still has one soul gem in place. This allows it to function, but very weakly. So we must find the other five to restore its power completely. I'm sorry if you find this confusing, Zeke, but I'm afraid we have little time and much to do. I'll ride along in your satchels, so hold it open and I'll just roll- Oh! oh wait, wait, oh, uh, you don't need to- Fingerprints, watch the fingerprints! The light switch is over there. Use the activate button on the switch to light up the room. Uh-oh! Fight off these evil spirits with a rapid shot by pressing the fire button. To attack a specific enemy, hold down the lock-on button. Now that the lights are on, you'll be less afraid. <sighs> With the lights on, Find shriveled souls by searching objects, then pull them into the beacon by holding down the soul. <laughs> to pull more than one shriveled soul at a time into the beacon, tap the soul collector button once for each soul before holding it down. This is some of Thorn's magic, but don't worry, you can break down these spirit bears.
Congratulations! You found part of an old death certificate. Collect all the pieces. Once you've collected all the shriveled souls, <gasps> oh no, he's coming. I should have listened to the madam. <laughs> but it's too late now. Much too late for all of us. <gasps> Goodness gracious. I ain't never seen a storm like this. Oh. As we travel through each room in the mansion, the energy of souls long past still lingers. Sometimes, this energy will allow me to communicate with those souls in the afterlife. By channeling them, I may be able to gain hints and clues that will help us in our journey. This will save you time later. Activate the grandfather clocks you find throughout the mansion to save your game progress. When the easy way you cannot climb, a crooked path could save you time. When the easy way... Yeah. <gasps>
This strange device looks like something the Order of Shadows would use, but I don't see how to activate it. Perhaps we'll find a way later. Slip and I'm a goner. <laughs> oh, guess it's too late. <laughs> oh, it's like I've died, and I'm looking down on everything from way up high. <laughs> If you want to target an enemy, just hold down the lock on button. To reach the heights, you'll need a hand. But for applause, first join... Thank you. 
Guys, guys, something's missing. Can we get more cowbell? <laughs> Years have passed since our defeat, but we do not sleep yet, and the plague has proven quite effective at reducing the Brotherhood's numbers. Folly it was to believe we were no longer a threat and to lower their defenses. <laughs> For as the shadows crawl eastward from the setting sun, so too does the reach of the Order, extending to encircle the globe. Come on, fellas. One more time. I do. I want... Thank <laughs> you.